This news webcast is brought to you by the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association in the UK. On Saturday the 27th of May, hundreds of children from the Ahmadiyya Muslim Youth Association held a minute's silence for the victims of the Manchester attacks and then walked a mile at several different sites across London and the home counties, including London's oldest mosque in Southfields and Western Europe's largest mosque in Morden. The walk took place just a day before many Muslims will begin the month of fasting across the country. The children were raising vital funds for UK-based charity Humanity First, who have launched the Classroom Transformation Project in low-income countries under their Knowledge for Life program. Simultaneously, local children from the Amdiya Muslim Youth Association in the north walked three miles for the Forget Me Not hospice, who support children with life-shortening conditions and their families in West Yorkshire. Adam Walker, the vice president of the Amdiya Muslim Youth Association, said, Given the tragic attacks in Manchester, we feel that it is vital for all of Britain to unite under the banner of peace and unity. This walk is also a symbolic way for children to show that true Islam seeks only to help the vulnerable. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has taught us that loyalty to our country is part of your faith. We wish to unite our fellow Brits of all backgrounds and the children will be walking to support the vulnerable. Assalamualaikum. So we're here in uh, William Lakeside Park here in Milton Keynes. Uh, also raising money today for Humanity First, but specifically for a certain project, uh, the Classroom Transformation Project. So not only here in Milton Keynes, but all across the country, there's various charity walks that are uh, taking place, whereby youngsters uh, at far from, of course, 7 to 15 years old are participating. Thank you. Uh, this project is a very special project which has been chosen in Humla this year. Uh, it is somewhere, there's a project that's been deployed in many countries uh, across Africa and other parts of the world as well, such as Jordan. Uh, this project is very special in the sense that since it, since it started last year, uh, we've seen some benefits uh, in the project itself, such as children, when they've seen this transformation take place, that they've wanted to come back to school. We've seen uh, teachers and staff being motivated in seeing that this school has been improved and there's been, been many other sort of benefits we've seen as we've kind of progressed in this project. I'm, I'm here that I've done my mile run, my wild walk around this Milton Keynes Park.